we all know, during MyCon Live, we got ourselves a ton of brand new information. And one of the information that we got was regarding the Nether update, which is going to be the next big update for Minecraft. And just to be clear, it is going to be 1.16, not 1.15. So if you're a little bit confused on which update the Nether update is going to be, just bear in mind that 1.16 is the Nether update. Because 1.15 is going to be the Beads and Bugs update to where they are going to be getting some bug fixes and things like that. That's going to be releasing, I believe, by the end of this year in December. Because Minecraft, they are trying to release two major updates a year. And the next update is going to be a bug fix update. So keep that in mind. But for the Nether update, we are getting ourselves a bunch of brand new things. And I'm super, super hyped for this update. Okay, I'm even more so hyped for this update than I was previously for the Village of Village update. Because for this update, it's going to be one of those updates that's going to be changing the nether completely. It's completely changing, redefining the nether. Because we're getting ourselves some brand new biomes, some brand new blocks, and brand new mobs. So we're going to actually begin with the new biomes. Which one of the biomes is the Soul Sand Valley. So for the first biome here, we have the Soul Sand Valley. Now for the Soul Sand Valley, we are going to be able to find fossils inside this biome. A new type of wavy soul sand, which it does actually look fairly cool. And I think it looks a little bit better than the standard soul sand that we already have. But also we're going to be finding blue fire. Now for blue fire, this is going to be the first time that we're going to be seeing a change to how fire is in the game. Now for this new fire, this doesn't require any specific items. It only requires your standard flint steel. And whenever you now go ahead and ignite fire onto a soul sand, it's going to go ahead and create up this blue flame. Now is this going to work on just this new wavy soul sand? Or is it going to work on the regular soul sand that we all know in Minecraft right now? And I guess we'll have to find out whenever we get ourselves the first snapshots. Which as I mentioned, it will be next year and stuff like that. But also there's going to be these weird looking pillars. And we don't know much about these pillars. Like we don't know what the blocks are that they're made out of. Um, but for this new block, I can only assume that it might be maybe like hardened soul sand. I don't really know to be honest. But this bomb does look pretty cool. Now there's also going to be the fossils of dead creatures that once roamed that land. So maybe it would have been like the Urgast that we saw within lots of mods. Now, or maybe it was like that four-headed ghast that we saw within Minecraft Story Mode. Or perhaps there's like giant lava worms. We don't know the origins of these fossils. But there's going to be a lot of speculation. I can only guarantee you that right now. But of course that was it for the first bomb. So let's move on to the next bomb. So for our next bomb here we have ourselves the red nether ward forest. Now there's also a blue one. But I'll get on to that here in a moment. But if you were to take a look at the red nether ward forest. We do have ourselves a dense forest with swirling particles and dense atmosphere. Deliberately designed by our meanest level designers to make you get lost. Yeah, so you gotta be careful not to get lost in this biome. But also, if you take a look at the blue one, we are now getting ourselves blue netherwort blocks. But now, this is basically the same as the red one. The only difference is that it's going to be blue. But it does have this twisted fungi. Now, for this fungi, they say watch your step. So maybe this is gonna be something that will end up hurting you or something like that. But, you know, I am actually looking forward to seeing these two bombs come into the game. And I kind of want to know a little bit more about the blue nether warp blocks. So anyway, let's go ahead and move on down to the next stuff, which we have ourselves some brand new mobs. So in the nether, we're going to be able to find two new mobs, the piglin beast and the piglin. Now, we're going to go talk about the piglin beast first. Because this is going to be a mob that's going to be a type of food source in the nether. The first ever food source in the nether, may I add. So is this going to be the only food source in the nether? We don't really know to be honest. They could always introduce more foods for the nether update in the future. Kind of like what they did with 1.14 in the suspicious stew. But I guess we'll have to find out whenever the update does end up coming. Now they also stated that it's going to be a hostile mob as well. So you got to be very careful trying to kill this guy. Because if you want to get the food, you got to take a little bit of damage for that. They're also introducing an entirely new mob called the piglin. Now the piglins, they live in the nether. They're also towards the player, and you'll also be able to find them in small fortifications that they have built in the nether, called bastions. So if you ever wondered where the nether fortresses came from, these are the people that built them. Or should I say, these are the pigs that built them. So that's basically the origin story all figured out right there. 
But anyway, they also like to go and hunt for gold. They also wear golden armor. So that's also why zombie pigments love gold. That's why they also wear the golden swords and things like that. Because the pigments, they love gold. But also, if you go ahead and look inside their chests, they will get really mad at you. They hate it a lot. Okay, they will just go ahead and go up to you. They'll give you a big old whack with your sword. And be like, hey, get away from my loot. Please, I'm looking at my loot. But there's also going to be a new type of trading that you can do with these, which is called bartering. So it's going to be kind of like trading with a villager, but they said that it will be far less friendly, which means basically that I think that if you do something wrong, maybe he'll just go and attack you. I mean, I don't really know too much, but this sounds pretty interesting. But with that one, that's actually pretty much it for what is going on in the Nether update well, pretty much all the information that we have right now. So we're getting ourselves like three new biomes, the Soul Sand Valley, the Nether Wart Forest Red and Blue, the Piglin Beast, which they are looking for a new name for. So if you do have a name for this guy, you can go ahead and just give a suggestion over on the feedback page. But also there is the zombie Piglin and the Piglin as well. But please let me know what you think of the Nether update as all. Well. Are you looking forward to the update for the Nether? Because for me, the Nether definitely needs an update and I am so looking forward to 1.16. But if you enjoyed this video, then please let me know by leaving a like on it and subscribe so you never miss an upload. Remember to tap the bell to so be notified. And for now, I hope you have a logical day and I catch you next time. Bye.